Let's start with some news here involving the first game on Tuesday, and that is the Cavs and LeBron James officially listed as questionable for the much anticipated season opener against Kyrie Irving and the Boston Celtics after a left ankle uh, injury limited LeBron to just one preseason game. His head coach said Monday that the team is preparing to have LeBron. However, Ty Lue wasn't ready to commit to LeBron definitely being in the lineup Tuesday against Kyrie. Um, you know, I never hide stuff from you guys. I really don't know. I mean, just depending on how he feels you know, after today. But um, I really don't know. All right, so not getting much there. J.R. Smith, by the way, he, he was a little different. Unlike his coach, he was um, <laughs> had zero doubt that LeBron would play, saying that he is going to go. Just trust me on that one. So we'll see if we trust J.R. Smith. What do you guys think, though? It, it, does Ty Lue know and he's playing a bit of a game with the Celtics, or you think he truly doesn't know yet? I, I think he really doesn't know. <clears throat> you know, when it comes to LeBron, LeBron definitely makes up his own mind. And, you know, I, I would say, and Brent, you can also speak to this, you know, as, as former players, you know, when there's a trade that's been made like this and it's been so public, you're actually looking forward to going out and competing against that guy. So uh, I would think that LeBron, if he is healthy, and even if he's a little bit injured, we'll try to go out and play against Kyrie because it's, it's definitely, you know, something to prove there. Yeah, I, I, I echo those sentiments, Isaiah. On top of it being opening night, the fact that it's the Boston Celtics coming in to face the Cleveland Cavaliers, I, I just don't think LeBron wants to disappoint anybody, certainly himself first in terms of the preparation physically to get ready for this season. But to put that jersey on opening night, you only get so many of those. This is number 15 for LBJ and against the Celtics. I think he wants to give them their best shot right away. Brent, we, we know how the Cavs are a team that places the priority on being healthy in, in the playoffs. They want to be at the peak of their game then and, and make sure LeBron is ready no matter what for, for the postseason. But with this team having just one preseason game to get to know all these new pieces, how dangerous could it be if LeBron is, whether he plays or not, not 100%? I don't think dangerous at all. I mean, LeBron James knows himself better uh, than anyone. He'll be out there on the floor. He won't push anything if he's not feeling uh, physically up to all of his superpowers for that game, Jared. But uh, you mentioned the fact that uh, Cleveland wants to rest and make sure they're healthy for the playoffs. This is opening night. I mean, this is you've been training all offseason. I don't care who you are. Believe me, we get, know. We've seen yes, LeBron's Instagram absolutely, account. <laughs> absolutely. But to get ready for this night and with everything there, being at home, it being the Celtics, LeBron being the incredible competitor that he is, I just cannot see him not playing in this game. The results really be damned in this one. It's about, again, having that jersey on and walking out the first night with your new team and saying, we are ready to go. Yeah, and... You know, we, we don't like to say it's personal, and, but sometimes it is personal. And, and as a player, you know, when a guy has been traded, you know, and, and you're getting ready to compete against that team, like you're saying, it's open at night, you definitely want to go out and, you know, put your stamp on it. You, you want to let everybody know that we're the best team, I'm still the guy, and by the way, you're not. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what sports is all about. That's what competition is all about. And, you know, whether you're injured or not, there's something inside of you that says, okay, I'm going to play this night, but I may miss the next, you know, two or three games. But on this night, I'm coming to give it to you.